Good morning, 47. Your destination is the Himapan Luxury Hotel Resort on the Chao Phraya River, just outside Bangkok. Your main target is Jordan Cross, the lead singer of The Class, a renowned indie rock outfit recording their highly anticipated sophomore album. But this millennial poster boy harbors a dark secret. One year ago, promising young actress Hannah Highmore fell to her death from Cross's penthouse loft in Dumbo, New York. According to the police, Miss Highmore's death was a tragic accident, but her parents remain unconvinced. They firmly believe that Cross murdered Hannah and only escaped justice due to the power and influence of his father, billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross. A secondary target, Ken Morgan, corporate fixer and attorney to the Cross family, is also staying at the hotel. Cunning and unscrupulous, Morgan was a key agent in the cover-up of Hannah Highmore's murder and Jordan Cross's subsequent acquittal. The Highmores understandably want retribution, and while the system may be powerless, ICA is anything but. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Bangkok, 47. Ken Morgan has booked the Queen Suite, but has yet to check in. You will find him in and around the restaurant. Oddly enough, Jordan Cross seems completely unaware of his presence. Cross and the class have set up a recording studio in the Emperor's Suite on the third floor. Private security around Cross and his entourage is highly capable. Still, I am sure you can find your way into his inner circle. After all, today is Jordan Cross's 27th birthday. The age when rock stars die. Good luck, 47. Welcome to the Himapan Hotel, sir. Welcome to the Himapan Hotel, welcome. So, I want to get that package for Wes, but reception welcome says sir, one of our clients picked it up an hour ago. Uh, must possible. have been Julian. I hope <laughs> yeah, he's with that again. actress again. Jackie Carrington. I saw him sneak up through a room earlier. Damn it. I was kind of hoping the package had gotten lost. I mean... I know Wes Liston is a sucker for all things vintage, but... Says it's the best vocal mic. So, producer Wes Liston has ordered a vintage Branson MD2 vocal mic. This rare model was removed from the market in the 1960s after causing a number of electric shock fatalities. Apparently, a production defect makes the MD2 short circuit at high voltages. Sounds promising. I suggest you track down the crewman who picked up the microphone. According to his colleagues, this Julian is romantically involved with Jackie Carrington, a former sitcom star who stays in room 207. Van bothers you that much, huh? Me, I have selective hearing. I can tune out just about anything. You work. Look, I can fix this. I'm homing in on the problem. I just gotta... Damn it! Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to ride home? It's not about that. <sighs> There's this guest. Big shot lawyer fella up in the Queen Suite. He's offered to buy it. This, this piece of crap for like an obscene amount of money. I just gotta get the engine running. A guest wants to buy your crummy old tuk-tuk. According to the hotel gardener, Ken Morgan wants to purchase his aging tuk-tuk as a souvenir. Unfortunately for him, he can't get the engine working. Well, you're good at fixing things, 47. I suggest you give the gardener a helping hand. This could be excellent bait. Stuff the gym's 
What do you expect? They're musicians. It's tradition. Bands trash hotel room. You know, money in the mall. It's what they say. Eyes open, sir. Well, I'm sure that Miss Miss Jay is Disgusting. No, it's just stupid. Someone left their wallet in their pockets. And it had at least a couple of thousand pounds. Why don't people check their pockets before sending them to the laundry? Did you keep them? No. I just think it's vulgar. There was at least a month's pay in that wallet. It's show for it work. It's time to close the deal. That is Ken the Brick Morgan, lawyer and corporate fixer. Wait, I recognize you. You're Ken Morgan. Yeah, yeah, they call you the Brick, right? Keith McKenzie, U.S. Attorney's Office, South District. Keith? I saw you at the Chelsea Whitmore trial. Your strategy was the brassiest thing I've ever seen. The girl burned a homeless man alive, and framed her cheerleading rival, and you got her off on affluenza charges? Stroke of genius, sir. I see. You're, um, not gonna give me the speech about how I'm part of the problem? about uh, how you will never embrace the private sector because you're fighting the good fight. Well, justice is more important than money. Shit, no. The U.S. Attorney's Office is just a stepping stone to me. You don't buy a place in the Hamptons on a state salary. Hmm. Uh, Keith, give my office a call. 
Morgan Yates and Cole. We may have something. Hey. Thank you, sir. Thank Will you do. I... Um, uh, excuse me, Mr. Morgan, sir? Yes. Ah, the tuk tuk fellow. Did you manage to fix the engine? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> she spins like a kit. Right. Lead the way. Good day to you, security guy. So who's guarding the mall? <laughs> Jordan Cross. I'm alive! I'm alive! Nothing here yet. Switch on, we got trouble! Nothing here yet. Nothing here.
Greetings, sir. Tell me about that performance in Barcelona. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, that was crazy. So, that is Jordan Cross, revered and reviled in equal measures. You got another one in me. Let's go. You with the crew? Okay, cool, man. Anyone seen Heidi's tuna? Hey there. Okay, Wes. I have that Branson MD2 mic you ordered. Sweet. Swap it for the one in the booth, yeah? Can't wait to test this baby out. Uh, Wes bought a Branson MD2? Yep. Also known as Old Sparky. Almost bankrupted Branson Tech back in the day. Yeah, well, why would Wes want to use a mic with a notorious production error? Break down and knock Wes out cold with a frying pan. And this other time, Wes locked himself in the studio with a loaded revolver, ready to shoot anyone who break or come to Running. Uh, what's up with that feedback? I don't like the sound of that mic. Uh, let's try a condenser instead, okay? Close, mate, but no cigar. Yeah, mate. That's one stem down, three left. Hey, man, those cables. Uh, I mean, they look hey, you're on a like roll, mate. Two matches down, two to go. Now we're talking. Almost there. Colder. Now that's shy. Nope. You had it, you lost it. Nicely done, 47. With a little more adjustment, this should make for an electrifying performance. Hey, someone get Jordan in here. This is right up his alley. Uh, let's try it again. Give it up for the crew. Like the the sound, uh, uh, we just need a second here. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's very cool. <laughs> sure thing, Wes. There's more where that came from. Hey, Jordan! Feast your ears on this! Hey, wh hey, what's this? Oh, Mick sounds awesome now, Wes. All right, yeah, let's have a go at the whole track. Hey, what are we doing up here anyway? It's a hotel, not a military compound. I mean, I know Jordan Cross is a heavy hitter, but this is just a little bit over. Anyone seen Heidi's tuna? Ready? We got a monitor problem. I'm running.
both targets down. Now head towards an exit. I'm not really sure oh, wow. I've seen you before. stripped clean within hours of the kidnapping. Someone wanted the son dead to lure out the father. Someone smart enough to stay in the shadows while we did the wet work, and the Highmores picked up the check. A shadow client. Someone got rich. The contract was just. That was a sound problem. I know you don't care about politics, 47. But ICA is neutral, or as has been. Can't allow ourselves to be manipulated. Besides... It's happened before. Italy. Morocco. Paris. All our clients got their intel the same way. Anonymous tips from a hidden source. Each contract perfectly legit. Yet part of a grander design. see the pattern. Somebody does. The board has asked us to chase down this shadow client, and our analysts are closing in as we speak. I know that tone. Someone's playing a game, 47. The question is, 